going on Dolphins? It is your boy Dylan and I'm here to do my video for uh, the playoffs, playoff predictor, using the playoff predictor to show the Dolphins path to the playoffs. Um, obviously after the slate of week 11 games has been played, now we have another week of data, another week of games in the books. So let's go ahead and dive right into it and take a look. So here we are. As I said, week 11, so let's just do a quick week 11 recap and see how everything turned out after that. Unfortunately, uh, I was hoping for the Bengals get, to get the win over the Ravens um, to help us, you know, keep pace. Because that, you know, since the Ravens won, that puts them at 8-3. and three. They are currently in the number one seed and have the best record in the AFC. So... They are currently the team to beat. Now, the good thing for the Dolphins is, is we do have to play them down the stretch. So, if we could beat them, I know it's a tough team and it's going to be on the road, but if we could happen to find a way to beat them in Baltimore, that would give us the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over them. Now, of course, the Chiefs, which we'll get to in a minute, they have the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over us. So, we have to finish with a better record than them in order to be able to get the number one seed over them. Now, having said that, real quick, let's go ahead and jump to it. Where is it? Uh, here we go. The Eagles did beat the Chiefs, which is fantastic for us because then that does drop them to seven and three, putting them at the two seed currently and allowing us the opportunity uh, to keep pace. Obviously, you see Jacksonville is also at seven and three. The Browns are at seven and three. Um, and then we are at seven, th at seven and three leading the AFC East with the number four seed. So currently, as you can see, we are, are, are battling with the other seven and three teams and the, the number one seed eight and three Ravens. Now, obviously, uh, it, they have not played or they have not gone on their bye yet. So, um, which if I'm, it could be the next week. We'll see in a minute. I'll check that when we go to the next week, but it could be next week or it could be this week, rather week 12 that they're going to be on by. So, but they, or it could be the week after, but either way, they haven't gone on their by yet. Um, so, you know, they've played 11 games, so they're kind of one game ahead of a lot of people in that sense. Um, as it stands right now, but so the reason why I, I mentioned that though is is because obviously they have three uh, three losses. They've got their three losses. So we're basically the point of that is is we're battling it out right now with the other three lost teams for the number one seed, and it's still possible. Um, but anyway, and you know we took care of business. We got the dub. It wasn't as pretty as we would have liked it. It wasn't as dominant as we would liked it. Um, and you know, the offense definitely in particular has some things to clean up. It's good to see that the defense is really starting to look dominant, but, um, at the end of the day, they took care of business. And so we're still in a, you know, great position to do what we want to do down the long stretch. Like I said, Browns did get their win over the Steelers. So that puts them at seven and three with the Steelers at six and four Jags get their win. Obviously they're at seven and three. And the Bills do get their win, which I figured they would, um, which drops the Jets. Uh, let's see. Well, the Bills are six and five, so they're one, you know, a game behind us, or a game and a half, two games ish, something like that behind us. A game and a half, two games behind us. Um, drops the Jets to four and six, and basically, and look, it's. No game is ever guaranteed, but the Jets obviously are switching to Tim Boyle. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the preview video. But we're going to be up against Tim Boyle now. I'm not really – this Jets offense is obviously absolutely garbage. The Jets defense is good, but as you can see in this last game, um, they gave up 32 points to Buffalo. And I think that's in large part because this locker room is, is starting to check out their – you know, starting to get worn down on defense, which is exactly what you would expect. And, you know, as Dolphins fans, we've seen this with the Dolphins in the past. When you have a good defense and your offense can't do shit, eventually the defense is going to get worn down, right? Now, in the Bills case, because they, they also have a good defense and have been playing well, they just keep getting decimated by injuries, though. 
part of the reason why I'm I'm not worried about the the Bills down the stretch. Um, and I firmly believe that they're going to get beat the next two games. I'm quite confident that after they, well, honestly, I'm quite confident that they'll end up being six and seven. Um, now you never know. I mean, they could certainly turn things around, but they have to go to, I mean, we'll take a look at it here in a minute. So I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's, let's finish out week 11. Uh, Texans get their win over the Cardinals, Green Bay over Chargers. The Chargers are just, you know, collapsing this year, which is fine. You know, um, Broncos managed to eke out a victory over the, the Vikings 21 to 20. Good for them. And then Lions, they're rip-roaring, man. They're 8-2. and two. They get their win over the Bears. The Cowboys over the Panthers, as expected. Um, this one could have gone either way, but, you know, that's cool. Fucking Giants get the win over the Commanders. The only reason why that really matters to us is obviously because we play them after the Jets. Again, another game I expect to be a win. Niners got the win over the... Bucks as expected, and then LA beats the Seahawks by one point, seventeen to sixteen. And again, that was a game I thought could go either way. So there you have it. And let's just real quick, as it stands, before we continue, the NFC: the Eagles are now nine and one, seven and three for the fifth seed uh, Cowboys. Lions are eight and two with the two seed. Vikings are six and five with the seventh. Niners are seven and three with the third seed. And the Seahawks are six and four with the six seed. The Saints are five and five with the four seed because that division is obviously absolutely garbage. So, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and continue on on to Week Twelve. Okay, so obviously, you know, the Dolphins are playing uh, in New York, right? Uh, Black Friday game. Um, Day after Thanksgiving, so this Friday. I'm obviously choosing the Dolphins. I don't think the Jets have a chance. Again, their defense is good, but they are breaking down, man. And I think our defense is going to absolutely destroy their offense, similar to how the Bills just did this past week. And while I think that they will, you know, and I'll get into it a little bit more, you know, I think it'll be a, a relatively, relatively close game. Or, or let's say not so much close because I think the Dolphins will end up winning by at least one score, if not two, the touchdown that is. Um, I think it'll be relatively low scoring. So, But I don't, I don't even see the uh, – the Jets, they did get a touchdown in this past game, but I just don't see them. They did, Look, they're just – they're awful. Anyway, um, this next game, Bengals and Steelers, I mean that's tough. The Steelers are super scrappy, but their offense is just fucking absolutely garbage. It's a home team. I would I would have taken the Bengals just outright, but Joe Burrow's obviously done for the season because of his wrist injury. So now, at this point, this is kind of a toss-up game for me. But see, that's the thing is, is that's how the fucking season goes, right? And that's how things can change in a heartbeat, uh, particularly with injuries. So, but I'm going to go ahead. I'll lean Bengals just because... They're the home team, and the Steelers' offense is just absolutely bad. They do have a damn good defense, and that's what's been keeping a minute, but I'll give the edge to the home team because I think it could go either way. Uh, Jacksonville, Texans. This one's tough too, but I think I'm leaning Jacksonville. Even though I would, I would love to see the Texans get the upset here, though. I think it will be an upset. I think the Jags will technically be favored or are likely to be favored. Um, but I'll, I'll give that to them because I, I, I am leaning Jags, if I'm being honest. Uh, I would say Browns, KC over the Raiders, and Ravens over the Chargers. So unfortunately, as you can see, all these teams that we're going to be competing with for that number one seed, I'm predicting to get wins. So, you know, as it stands, if that's the case, then the Ravens will be 9-3. and three, The Browns will be 8-3. and three. Bengals, I mean, I'm not so worried about them, especially with Burrow being out, but 6-5. and five, KC, 8-3. and three, Jacksonville, 8-3. and three, And we would be 8-3. and three. So it's not likely week 12 where we're going to be able to get any ground on those teams because they take losses. Um, 
I'll say New York Giants over Patriots. The Patriots just got awful. Giants are at home. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I guess I'll just edge the home team there, whatever. Same thing here. I mean, and the Panthers are awful. I do think the Eagles are going to get the win over the Bills. I, do, I don't have confidence that the Bills are going to win. Um, I think Lions over Green Bay is pretty easy. Dallas over Washington, pretty easy. Niners over Seahawks, pretty easy. Uh, I guess I'll go with the Saints just because they're already leading that division, but, but, you know, just barely fucking, I don't know. Let's go Cardinals, though, and then Vikings over Bears. How about that? Let's go with that. Okay. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. There you have it. And now we move on to week 13. Um, I don't, Like I said, you know, I'm trying to be as realistic with this shit as I possibly can, so... Here, uh, let's see. I, I'll go Chargers, just because the the Patriots are just absolutely god awful. Um, I'll edge out the home team there, I guess. I'll take Texans over Broncos. I'll take Jags over Bengals, because again, I mean, well, Jags are at home, but you know, Bengals lose Burrow, so. Um, Obviously, I think the Dolphins will get the dub over the uh, uh, Commanders. I was going to say the Redskins again. Um, um, I think the Cardinals have a better offense. I mean, I think the Jets are just fucking cooked, bro. I'm going to take the fucking Falcons. Uh, I think Browns. I mean, but it could go either way. So, you know, frankly, and so could this one, if I'm being honest. Um, I think KC will beat Green Bay. Uh, I think Dallas is a safe pick there. I think that's a pretty safe pick. Lions. And then, ah, this one's tough. This one's tough, man. And can the nine, can the Niners go into the Eagles house and fucking get the win? You know, what? I'm going to say so just because I want to drop the motherfucking Eagles down one and give them another motherfucking loss. But I could see that game going either way. Although, I would say that I probably ultimately, if I'm being honest, I probably do lean a little bit towards the Eagles in that game. I think they're probably the slightly better team. And they're at home. And I, they probably will be favored. But I think it's going to be a close... I think it's. I think the, the line is going to be close and it could go either way. So I'm going to take the kind of selfish pick there in this case and go with the Niners just because I, I would love to see the fucking Eagles take another fucking loss at some point. Um, and it's not against the Bills because I want them to beat the Bills. So this would be a good time for that to happen. Uh, all right, let's see. Week 14. Uh, actually, and so, but real quick, as you can see, that would actually put the motherfucking Chiefs back into the number one seed because... Oh, uh, actually, let me see. It was, I forgot to check. Okay, so the Ravens, yeah, the Ravens won't be on their bye week until week 13, the same uh, the same week that the Bills have theirs. So they have the last, the last bye week, because I think that's the last bye week. So, um, but anyway, so then after that, while the Ravens are on bye then, that means... The Chiefs would overtake them for the number one seed at nine and three. Jags at nine and three with the Texans at seven and five. The Colts at six and six with the seven seed. Browns at nine and three. Ravens at nine and three and would drop to the fifth seed if all of that played out like I I have it. And us at nine and three. So man, just at the top of the motherfucking. If things play out like this, then at the top of the fucking conference, things are just super fucking tight. Where are we going to get an opportunity to overtake them? I think the, well, this one's going to be interesting because this will give us a chance to overtake at least one of these teams. Uh, but anyway, so let's see. Steelers, I think, should get the win over the Patriots. Man, this one's tough. It could go either way. This one's, a, they're the home team. They have the better quarterback. Although, uh, DeLorean Thompson Robinson? 
I think is his name, right? DTR, DeLorean, Thompson, Robinson. Played a solid game. They got their win. They do have, you know, like the best defense in the league. That one's tough. And But as you can see, man, I mean, they would stay in the division as the division leaders. Even with a loss, the Jags would. Man, fuck. I don't know. This one's tough. I'm going to go Browns, though. Which puts, at least for the time being, puts the Browns at the number one seed. I think the Texans will beat the Jets. Uh, I think the Bengals can get the win over the Colts. KC over Buffalo. Uh, uh. Um, we're definitely going to get the win over the motherfucking Titans. Uh, I guess... Uh. I don't know. This one could go either way. I guess I'll just side with the home team. Uh, Ravens should get the win over the the Rams. Um, I'll go with the Vikings here. Let's see. Definitely Detroit. We'll go with the Saints. We'll go with the Niners. Uh, I'm going to go with the Cowboys just because they're the home. And they played them tough when they did go to Philly. So... I'll give them the split. I've been giving them the split. Um, I don't know. Tampa, whatever. I don't care. Green Bay, whatever. I don't care. All right. So, But let's see what that leaves us after this week if it were to play out like that. So the Chiefs would be the number one seed at 10-3. and three. Browns would be the number two seed at 10-3. and three. Ravens would be the fifth seed at 10-3. and three. Holy balls, bro. The Bengals at 7 and 6 would be the 7th seed. We would be the 3rd seed, so we would at least move up to the number the to the 3rd seed um even though we you know still tie with a lot of those top contenders. Um but then of course the Jags would drop to 9 and 4 leaving him putting them in the 4th seed but still atop their division although only one game ahead of the Texans at 8 and 5. So things getting crazy, bro, at the top, man, at the top. It's going to be really interesting going down the stretch. Okay, um, let's take a look at week, what are we in now? 15, week 15. I'll go with the T Antonio Pierce Raiders over the Chargers at home. Uh, Steelers, I think, will beat the Jets again um, at home. Let's go with the Texans. Man, um, this is a tough one. Ravens will have to travel. Let's go with the Jags. And let's make it a little bit more interesting because then that that gives both the Ravens and the... That'll have the Ravens and the Jags both at fucking four losses but ten wins. KC will beat the Patriots. Uh, Browns should beat the Bears. Lions should beat the Broncos. This one's a tough one. I guess I'll... No, nah, you know what? I'll go with the Vikings. Dallas over Buffalo. This one, I don't know. I mean, it could go either way. But, I mean, I'm t I'll am take Dallas. I think they're overall the better team. And I think over the next three... Yes, I get it. The fucking... The Bills just stomped the Jets. But it's the fucking Jets. And I'm not quite so sure that they're, you know, back yet. Let's see how they do over this three-game stretch. I mean, this next three-game stretch for them, Eagles, I mean, they have the bye after the Eagles, but Eagles, it's going to be Eagles, bye, Chiefs, and then Cowboys. The next two games, the Eagles and the Chiefs, they have to go on the road for, and then they'll play the Cowboys at home. But, I mean, by then, they could be, like I said, six and seven. And, you know, if it goes how I think, they'll end up being six and eight after this. So... Um, I guess we'll take the Falcons over the Panthers. Uh, I don't know. Bucks. No, nah, we'll go Green Bay at home. Saints. 49ers, I think for sure. Uh, I guess we'll give that one to the Rams and Eagles to get the win there. So after that, then it would be KC at the one seed, 11 and three. Dolphins move up to the two seed. There we go, 11 and three. With the Browns being 11-3 and three at the three seed. 
Uh, Ravens in the fifth seed at 10 and four. Seventh seed would be the eight and six Steelers. And then the four seed would be the 10 and four Jags with the six seed being the nine and five Texans. Honestly, bro, like I, I could fuck with this. You know, I could fuck with this. Anyway, let's move on. Week 16. Uh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll edge out the scrappy Steelers at home. I don't know. I mean, that's such a hard pick, though, because I, I do think that the Bengals fucking probably are. But I'll, I'll give them it at home. Uh, I think the Bills will beat the Chargers. The Browns should beat the Texans. Broncos over the Patriots. I mean, garbage. Chiefs over Raiders. There's just not many. Look, I mean, we're going to have to hope that the Chiefs drop one of these games. Because honestly, bro, they they should be favored in and win all the rest of their games down the stretch, if we're being completely honest. So we're just going to have to hope that they drop one somewhere. Um... I don't know. I think the Jets are just going to be free-falling at this point, if I'm being completely honest. And I think the Sam Howell-led Commanders have a better offense. Uh, we'll go edge them at home. I guess we'll give the Titans a win at home. Jags should get that win. I do think the Dolphins will get the win over the Cowboys at home. But it will, look, it will be a tough game. And hang on. Going into that game, they'll they'll be eleven and three. We'll be eleven and three if it all goes how I think it will go, or how I've you know predicted it at least in this video. And I mean, you know, some of these predictions do change obviously week to week based off of things that happen, right? Like, I would I would have picked the Bengals in a lot more of these games, certainly in this game, right? If Joe Burrow was there, right? But anyway, so that will be a premier matchup. Um, but I will take the Dolphins in that. I think that they will get that win. Ah, man. This one's tough. I could see it going either way. I'll go ahead and give the Niners the win there. But see, as you can see, though, I think that the Ravens have a harder schedule than the Chiefs do. So I think that there's opportunities, even though the Ravens are currently the number one seed, I think that there will be opportunities for them to take losses before that before we even play them so even if they do get the head-to-head -head, i do think that there will be like because if things play out like this we would have a two-game lead on them even before we play them so even if we do happen to lose to baltimore that head-to-head -head wouldn't even really matter so much um unless we had the same record as them at the end of the season uh, I guess whatever. Green Bay, Detroit should win. I'll take Cardinals and then Eagles. All right, so if things played out like that through week, what is it, 16? Then you'd have the 12-3 and three Chiefs at the number one seed, the 12-3 and three Browns, number two. The Ravens would be 10-5 and five in the fifth seed. Steelers would be 9-6 and six with the seventh. Dolphins would stay in the three seed with 12-3. and three. Jags would stay at fourth seed with 11-4. and four. And the Texans would be nine and six with the sixth seed. All right, only a little bit left. Here we go. So week seventeen, uh, we'll take the Browns over the Jets. I think that's pretty easy. We'll give it to the Antonio Pierce Raiders. See, this one's tough, man. And I honestly, at this point in time, I'm still leaning Ravens. But for now. We can change some things up in a minute. Let's say, because I want to I wanna see the scenario, a part of these exercises to see how the Dolphins can get to the number one seed. I think the Bills will beat the Patriots. We'll go Texans, KC. Uh, we'll give the edge to the Broncos. Jags here. We'll give it to the Steelers. Fuck it. They're scrappy. Mike Tomlin, man. Uh... Hmm. You know what? I'll give Dallas the win there. Eagles should get the win. Mm, we'll give it to the Rams. Niners should get the win. Saints. Guess edge the home teams in a couple of these. Bada bing, bada boom. I think these are all relatively... All right, so then how would that have us after week 17? Chiefs would be 13-3, and three, the number one seed. We would move up to the number two seed, though, at 13-3. and three. 
Bada bing, bada boom. So we're creeping. We're getting closer, getting closer. 13 and 3 uh, would be the Browns, the number three seed. 10 and 6. The Ravens and Steelers would be tied at 10 and 6, but then the Ravens would drop to the seventh seed with the Steelers being six because uh, tiebreakers and stuff. Um, Jags would be 12 and 4 with the fourth, and the 10 and 6 Texans would be in the fifth seed. All right, we got one mo week to go week 18 man this is a tough one though at this point because <laughs> both these teams are just god awful but you know what i want the patriots to get a win somewhere so let's say the patriots get the win over the jets at home i think we'll beat the bills at home Ravens should beat the steelers browns should beat the motherfucking Bengals. i would think texans jags Chiefs, see, there's just no fucking opportunity. Although maybe the Chargers aren't good, but maybe, I mean, Justin Herbert and the Chargers at home, I doubt it, but we'll take the Raiders there. Bucks, Cowboys, Eagles, Lions, Edge of the Home Team, Saints, Cardinals, Niners. There you have it. All righty. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so as you can see, if the Chiefs do end up winning out and make it to 14-3, and three, even if the Dolphins were to win out and also be 14-3, and three, we would not be the number one seed because they have the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over us. And therefore, we have to hope... Well, so two things, two things are, are true. Right, Because there is a high likelihood that the Chiefs are going to win out. So if the Dolphins have any chance of, of getting the number one seed, they 100% have to win out. They have to go 14-3 and three because the likelihood of... If the Dolphins were to lose against the Ravens, then the Chiefs would have to lose two games down the stretch, which is super unlikely. So... The more likely scenario is the Dolphins have to go 14-3, and three, but we have to hope that the Chiefs also drop another one. So the easiest one to do, just because I'm still on this page, would be that, right? So just to show you, if they were to lose a, any game and the Dolphins were to win out, we could get the number one seed because then the Chiefs would be 13-4. and four. And in fact, then if it played out how I see it, they actually would drop to the number three seed with the two seed being the Browns at 14 and three, right? So we absolutely have to hope that they drop at least one game and, you know, it's a home game for the Chargers because honestly, I just, I don't know. I don't know that there's another game. Chiefs, Bengals, maybe, but it's a home game for the Chiefs. And the Bengals are without Burrow, so I'm not really sure. But it's possible that could be one. Um, Raiders have to go into KC. I think that's less likely than the Bengals. Um, the Patriots aren't going to beat them. Um, Bills, maybe. But frankly, I want the Chiefs to beat the Bills. Because I want the Bills to just get fucking taken out of the race. You know what I'm saying? I want to clinch the division by Christmas. And we can do that if we win the next few games. If the Bills lose against the Eagles and the Chiefs and we win our next few games, we can clinch by Christmas. So, And then especially if the Bills end up losing to Dallas. Um, so honestly... Uh, let me go back. Uh, what's the week before that? Chiefs are on. No, Chiefs already had their bye. Who do they play then? Oh, they play Green Bay. No, they should win that one. <coughs> and then week 12, um, they play the Raiders. Maybe. I mean, I guess maybe if they go into the but I doubt it. I doubt the Raiders are going to get but it you know it's a home game for the Raiders. They're playing scrappy. Uh they're playing better on both sides of the ball overall. Aiden O'Connell's I mean No, I think 
honestly, I think if the Chiefs are going to lose any games, it's going to be later on in the season. So let's say that it's a safe bet. We'll leave the we'll leave the Raiders game. Chiefs will win that one. They play Green Bay. Chiefs will win that one. They play the Bills. That one could go either way. But I think KC will get that win. I mean, it's in Arrowhead. I think they are the better team. And frankly, I want them to win that game. So I'll leave that one next. What's this one? Patriots, they're not going to lose to the Patriots. The Bills are maybe a game. Raiders are kind of... There's a potential one of those games, but I doubt it. So I'm not going to count it. So we'll skip that one again. The Bills, maybe. The Bengals, maybe. Right? So let's say... So we have it right now. We already saw that if the if the Chiefs win out, even if the Dolphins win out, there's no way we can get the number one seed. But let's say we do lose to the Ravens, <clears throat> which would put the Ravens then at 12-5 and five in the fifth seed. The Browns would be the number one seed. Chiefs the number two seed. And the Dolphins would be then back down to the number four seed if everything else plays out like I had it. And so even if, I mean, frankly, I mean, that could, you know, if the Bengals were to beat the Chiefs, that could give us the three seed. Honestly, if we're keeping it completely 100, the Dolphins just have to win out. I'm not really seeing much of a path to the number one seed. Unless the Dolphins just can absolutely win out. I mean, I think they just have to win out. I don't think that there's another path. Um, and then the Chiefs, I mean, so let's say, and then the Chiefs get that one. Yeah, I mean... So, there you have it. I mean, unfortunately, this is, you know, this is what it is, right? So, obviously, this is, and, and I talked about this going into that Chiefs game, you know, and this is this is how I'll wrap the, the video up is, you know, going into that Chiefs game, I, I told you, look, that game is so huge because it could absolutely be a, decide, a key deciding factor in who gets the number one seed. And so... As I have illustrated in these videos the past few weeks, and I, I would venture to guess that over the next several weeks, it'll remain the same, that the Chiefs will, uh, if they win out and get to 14-3, and three, even if the Dolphins win out and get to 14-3, and three, they're not going to get the number one seed because the Chiefs have the tiebreaker, right? So... Now, the Dolphins, obviously going through these different scenarios, the Dolphins, because I expect them to win the division, so they'll land anywhere between the number one and number four seed. Obviously, you want to be as high as possible to get as many probable home games for the playoffs as you can. Only the number one seed gets uh, a first round bye, and only the number one seed is guaranteed to have home field throughout the entirety of the playoffs, as long as they obviously don't get defeated so um you know the the dolphins should at this point expect to land somewhere between the number one and number four seeds the dolphins unquestionably to get the number one seed have to win out and go 14 and three they also have to hope that the the chiefs lose at least one more game they lost to the Eagles last night, which absolutely had to happen if the Dolphins were even going to stay alive and have a chance to get the number one seed, right? Because I just don't see them dropping two more games. Maybe one of these teams can get them because the, the Chiefs offense really is not all that great. The past three games, they've been shut out completely in the second half. So, you know, and that's part of the reason why I could potentially see like the rate one of those Raiders games being up in the air because they do have a pretty solid defense. Maybe not good enough to beat the Chiefs, but you never know, right? And if the ball bounces in the favor of the opposing team to the Chiefs, maybe one of these teams could get the a win down the stretch. Maybe it's the Bills, maybe it's the Chargers, maybe one of these teams. But we're going to have to hope that they drop at least one for us to have a chance 
at getting that number one seed. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. So we'll see how it all plays out. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fascinating and interesting. And it's it's going to be really competitive, though, down the stretch. And as you could see, based off of, like I said, I try to be as realistic as I possibly can be. Obviously, a lot of these games are very up in the air, could go either way. Um, obviously, I don't follow any team but the Dolphins super closely. So there are a lot of things that I don't know about. Um, the rest of the league and the rest of the teams. Uh, but I do try and follow as many of the games and stuff as I can throughout the season, at least, you know, uh, from a peripheral standpoint. So I at least know a little bit of something. Anyway, um, but there you have it. Like I said, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fascinating. Oh, I guess real quick, hang on, just because I, I do it. Let me pop back in for a half a second um, and just look at the playoffs. So let's see. Uh I would say Ravens over Jags, Casey over Texans, uh, Browns over Steelers. Uh, yeah, Cowboys over Cowboys over Saints, Lions over Vikings, Eagles over Packers, uh, Casey Dolphins. Let's see, Eagles, Niners. Cause just because I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever. I mean. This last bit, when when I do this portion about the about the playoffs, it's really only because it's just fun, and it's because I want I'm specifically setting up this matchup for the AFC Championship game because I would really love to play the Chiefs again in the playoffs, so that way we have um, an opportunity to play them again this year, and then if we could get the win, and especially if we could get the win in the playoffs, then nobody's gonna give a fuck. Especially, too, if we somehow manage to get the number one seed. But even if we don't, even if we don't and we have to play them in the playoffs at some point but go to Arrowhead, but we can still manage to get the win, then nobody's going to give a fuck that we lost to them in Germany. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see that rematch, even if the Dolphins are not the number one seed and we have to go to Arrowhead. And then I want to see this rematch, but obviously it would have to be in the Super Bowl uh, so we can get another opportunity to beat the Eagles as well. So anyway, that's where I'll end it. Uh, I forgot to do that little portion in there. But anyway, it's going to be a fun rest of the season. Dolphins are in great position. They have to absolutely take care of business over the next four games. They should get the win against the Jets twice, should get the win against the Commanders in Washington, and should get the win against the uh, Titans at home down in Miami. So I would expect us to be 11 and 3 going into that Dallas game and then we'll just see how things we'll see how things are at that particular point in time. We'll see if the if the Chiefs have maybe slipped up and dropped another game or if they or if they are also, you know, at 11 and 3 um at that point in the season. We'll see how that final three game stretch goes. There's a lot of football left to play and the Dolphins also should still expect to get um uh, the Dolphins should still expect to get a bit healthier because I don't know if Devon A. Chan will play in this game. They could opt to be safe and, you know, have him inactive for this game. But I would expect him to at least play against the Commanders the following week because um, it doesn't seem to be anything serious. And Mike McDaniel said he even could have come back into this past game. They were just being precautionary. So even if he doesn't play, I would think that he should at least be back for the Commanders game. But frankly, if they kept him out all the way until the Dallas game, I wouldn't really care. I mean, it would suck because I do want to see him back in there. And I think it will help this offense get back up to their, um, you know, uh, potential. But... Obviously, I would rather have him for that stretch down, you know, that last three game stretch when the games are going to be at their toughest. So I wouldn't mind, but I think he should be back at least for the Commanders game. Hopefully, it would be nice to see Robert Hunt come back for this game against the Jets, but we'll see. I think Robert Jones is less likely, but hopefully at least those two guys will be back at some point. Obviously, Durham Smythe, Braxton Berrios, Chase Claypool, all these guys I would expect to... to you know, get sprinkled back into the lineup over the next few weeks. And I, again, though, all of these guys, I would say as long as they can come back by the Dallas game, it's fine to keep them out, right? Because the team is overall pretty damn healthy 
and I think we'll be fine with the lineup that we have on both sides of the ball against the next few opponents. So as long as those guys can all return by the Dallas game, I think we should be in great position and look to you know be able to get wins against those top uh, top flight teams, top tier teams in the league, and you know buck the narrative that we can't beat teams with winning records. Because again, the first chance that we're going to have the oppor- uh, the first opportunity we're going to have, uh, you know, in the second half of the season isn't going to be likely until that Dallas game. So anyway, I'm gonna get up out of here. Hope you guys appreciate it and like my perspective. I would love to see my channel grow. Um, you know, my life situation is a mess right now. I'm, I'm still struggling to find myself a job. And if I don't find something soon, I'm probably, you know, not going to be able to make videos anymore because um, I'm likely not going to have a place to live. So I would love to do this as my job, but unfortunately it's super hard to do. It's not like I'm going to be getting any offers from the Dolphins or from any of the, you know, from anyone really. Um you know, to do Dolphins content. So it's not like anybody's going to be offering me a job to do Dolphins content um, anytime soon. And building a YouTube channel is super tough. And, you know, I would have to have at least a thousand subscribers and, you know, a certain amount, a certain number of hours of my content watched before I'm even able to qualify. And then obviously, you know, the revenue stream, it's not exactly life-changing money off the bat. So it takes time and, you know, I've, I've struggled for the past several years to build my channel. So I'm not exactly hoping that this is going to, you know, become my job anytime soon and certainly not, (laughs) not likely to be, you know, anytime before my situation in life gets any worse. So, but I'm going to keep trying, I'm going to keep pushing and hopefully I can figure something out in time and be able to keep doing this because I do like it and I would love to be able to continue to follow the team and especially this season and everything and it will be disappointing if I end up you know uh it would be super disappointing if you know especially if we end up beating the the Ravens and then you know I end up homeless for New Year's and not even get to watch that Bills game uh let alone the playoffs so that would suck but Um, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to keep myself positive and I'm just trying to keep pushing and try to keep figuring something out. So we'll see, but you know, just keeping it real with you guys. Um, anyway, let me end on a, on a, on a good note. Um, fins up, man. I think, I think the season is special and I think they're going to, you know, continue to do special things. And I think that they're going to win a playoff game, at least one, they should win the division and get at least one home field game. So, um, you know, good stuff still to come for this Dolphins team. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to, you know, stick around for the entire ride. But, you know, we'll see about that. In any event, fins up, guys, and I will see y'all soon. Miami wins it.